rate, I'm going to be here for another 50 years. Put your backbone in it. I can't because I am fairly certain my backbone just snapped in half. After all these years, I thought the actress chick was the dramatic one. Okay, explain to me again why am I digging this hole? I told you we are looking for the millionaire's suitcase full of cash. No, that's why I dug that hole over there, and that one over there, and that one over there. Why am I digging this hole? They told me it was a number of paces from the tallest coconut tree, <clears throat> which I'm not going to tell you, or this pile of rocks. Now it looks like a pile of rocks. Keep digging. I'm taking a break. Oh. Breaks are for sissies. Perfect! Oh. And it's break time. Good, I set you up for that oh. one, didn't I? Oh, Pretty on. much. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. oh, heaven. Five minutes, don't get used to it. Five minutes and it's back in the hole. I want to blow this pop stand ASAP. So tell me how you and the others? The rest? The rest? Yes. Got shipwrecked. Oh, it's a long tail. Well, I got five minutes. I'll sit right back and you can tell it to me. Tell me all about your fateful trip. Well, it started from a tropic port. Which one? I don't know. They just called it a tropic port. In Hawaii? No, in Lake Havasu, Arizona. <laughs> of course, Hawaii. Well, I am just trying to be specific. You are trying to be annoying. <sighs> Sorry. Please proceed. It was a beautiful sunny day. We all set sail from a tropic port past all the other little boats in their slips. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour? Yeah. Why? People took luggage for a three-hour tour? Would you leave a suitcase in a hotel full of cash with a concierge? Good point. Yeah. So, were all the other passengers your friends? No, no, we were strangers. Why were you on a boat with a bunch of strangers? Do you want to hear this story or not? What? I think that's a legit question. Okay, okay. okay. So you're on a boat full of strangers mm -hmm. with a, a, a professor dude, a, a movie star chick, and a millionaire couple. <laughs> Must have been a pretty fancy whale of a boat. Oh, smaller than that. Whale shark-sized boat? Smaller. A minnow? Bingo! Oh, bingo! Oh, the weather started getting rough. Lightning. Our tiny minnow ship was tossed. Tossed? Like a like a like a like a softball tossed? No, like a salad tossed. What difference does it make? We were tossed. So wait, you left on this beautiful sunny day, and in less than three hours, you're in this giant salad tossing storm like didn't anybody check the weather forecast before you left i mean maybe that is why all the other ships in tropic port were still in the dock don't be a smart aleck i could bury you in this hole and nobody would know my own. ditto i'm just saying if it were not for the courage of our fearless crew the tiny little minnow ship would be lost well a minnow would be lost that i believe mm -hmm. so uh tell me about the crew well there was the captain, the skipper. Brave and... Sure. Oh, and, and his little buddy, the first mate. Was he a hunky, mighty sailing man? <laughs> but he was cute. Oh, nothing wrong with that. And the next thing we know, the ship set ground here on this uncharted... Uncharted's debatable. Desert. Desert seems a stretch. Isle. Peninsula. Whatever. Okay, wait, let's go back. Uh, the the minnow-sized boat washed ashore with all the rest of you? Yes. And you couldn't use it to get off the uncharted desert isle? It had a hole in it. A big one? Well, two spots on one side. Two spots. And you couldn't patch them? We didn't know how. A professor couldn't figure something out. Oh, he was a professor. He wasn't a superhero. Although, he was pretty good with his hands, if you know what I mean. Oh, I really, really hope I don't. Okay, your five minutes are up. Get in the hole and start digging. Why don't you just come back with me to the port? Finally, get the hell out of here. I am not leaving this island. Peninsula. Whatever. I'm not leaving this island without the money. I've spent 50 years dreaming about going home and, and buying a farm and starting to raise a family. Okay, when was the last time you updated your dream? You have to update them? Mm, no, no, you're right. There's always adoption. Stop that. Chop, chop. Listen, lady, there's nothing in it for me to keep digging holes for you. Oh, this younger generation is all the same. All right, if you help me find the cash, I will give you a cut. Now, I am listening. Oh, of course. One percent. Fifty. Two percent. Forty. Three percent. Thirty. Four percent. Twenty. Five percent. Fifteen. Five percent. Ten. 
then? 5%. Okay, I will take 5%. 4%. A deal? Aren't you glad you're working with me? I'm the sweet one.